180. Jamie's won the ball. And that's done and dusted. So Jamie first Caven is Jamie to throw first. will throw Game first. On. Yeah, so I suppose if you talked about a form line, you would have to put Caven a, a, a big odds on favourite. 60. But in a two horse race, anything can happen. Yeah, when Caven does get into a rhythm, you can expect a succession of legs in 15 dollars. 41. Or just under. <laughs> Ninety-five. Taking a moment to find his range. Well, Caven, won a few tour events over the last two or three years, and certainly you need good pedigree to do that. There's no question. Them tour events. Fifty-seven. The top 128 players in the world are there, including the Taylors and the Wades, the Whitlocks, everybody. And Caven has come through that field. On a number of occasions. 60. Yeah, to really keep making progress up those rankings, he's going to have to start taking that form onto the big TV tournaments. And 96. we did see him at the European Championships. I mean, he beat Dave Chisnell, he beat James Wade, and he looked for all the world to be beating Simon Whitlock. And he actually led 9-3 and ended up losing 29. He could face Whitlock this evening in the quarterfinals. That'll be the final third round match on 100. after this. Yeah, coming up after this song against Andy Hamilton. Hamilton beat Lewis last night, so that could be an absolute cracker. 81. Who, Jamie O'Brien, 93. You know, their battle in the world match play a few years ago when Simon Whitlock was 15 8 up and lost the game. Wanted 57. One more leg. And Andy Hamilton put a run together, and uh, well, we don't see many matches like that. We certainly don't. So 99. Been on the Jamie receiving 56. end. And dished out one of those big comeback wins. Oh, that's a bad miss for Jamie Cave. It means he's only going to get Game one dot, double 16, leg. but that's Jamie what he Cave takes out. out. Second leg is marked to throw first. Game on. It's a little bit scrappy, but it's job done. And like I say, when you're in, in a good place in your 41. head and what have you, you take out shots like that, although you miss the big number. When you're struggling with your game, you know, you stand back, you think, how have I missed that? How have I missed that? And you worry too much about it. But the quick throwers and the throwers on form, they just get on with the job. 95. Caven okay, kicking off with a 140 in this leg. Just looking at find some sort of rhythm. 100. A tunnel help. Already stolen the darts from Cox in this one. 39. Cox, a man from Swindon. Looking to emulate another Swindon player, Johnny Haynes, who the Dutch Darts Masters last year, which was held in Newland, beat Raymond van Barneveld on a run that ended up 30. getting him to the World Championship. Yeah, another one of the old style dart players is Johnny Haynes. I don't know, his surname is spelt differently. 125. To an old footballer called Johnny Haynes from Fulham. One of the best players of his era. You would never, ever 59. remember him though, Dan, would you? A bit before my time, I know the name, Rod. A bit like yourself as a dart player. <laughs> you can't remember me, you mean. <laughs> 59. Well, Cox having a struggle here to find any trebles, and at the moment the game's not really set alight by any player. But Caven here could set it up perfectly. 100. Well, he's going to get a dart at a double if Cox don't take out the 142. It's like Cox is going down the nine or the 17s. Yeah, two treble 17s would have given him the double top. 102. Jamie requires well, he sets it up nicely, but Jamie Caven should have a dart at a double. And it's going to be double top. 52. Just shy of it. 40. Mark Cox to get his first leg on the board. Game and shot there the it second is. leg. Shake Mark of the head. Cox. Third leg, it's Jamie but to throw legs first. Leg. Game on. 60.
100. I'm talking about making it to the World Championships. Jamie Caven has been there on a few occasions. Never gone past the second round, though. 58. That's the sort of thing with the form that he's in this year. We'll be looking at improve upon. Well, that is a wild dart from Coxie. 45. So the first one weren't a bad guide from the way he throws his darts, but the other two were like miles away. And Caven comes down, finds the treble 19. That's a good visit for Jamie Caven. And he did throw first in this league, so he's got to hold on to his throw. He doesn't want to start losing it. Not with a scrappy leg, anyway. You know, if you're gonna, someone's going to take your, your throw, let them throw an exceptional leg to do so. 59. Yeah, neither man getting into any kind of rhythm at the moment. Certainly not the, the calibre we'd seen from them earlier in the tournament. Say Mark Cox in beating Andy Smith 6 1. The Pie Man have been throwing some great stuff recently. 60. Mark Gugwa 161. What a chance here for Mark Cox now. That, I mean, well, he isn't going to take it out. You can see him shaking his head. He can't believe how, f how far away that first one is. And, you know, we say it so often. When a dart is that 41. high, Jamie there is no Ubar way you've got the line or length on, in, on the next two darts. It, it really is. Perhaps step back and throw that second dart as if it's the first dart and forget about Game it. Game shot on the but third leg. Jamie Caven. Jamie Caven. Takes out the bullseye. Mark to throw first. And the speed that he took that out. A great shot right out of the blue to be quite honest with the way they've been playing. Well, it's kind of come from nowhere, that, hasn't it? I mean, he, he hit a, a 1-3-4 earlier in the leg, but other than that, it was his biggest, out, uh, biggest score of the leg. Never really 81. threatened to uh, get stuck in among the trebles, let alone a treble and a ball in one visit. But Jamie Caven gets it under his belt. Now Mark Cox looking to find a range, and two in the treble bed here. Can he make it a 180? No, 140. Perfect example there. Mark Cox gets the first dart right, as does Jamie Caven, and they follow it up. 120. Well, that might have been 60 on the floor there. I couldn't quite tell if that was in the treble bed or just above it. Jamie Caven can feel a little bit aggrieved. Three brilliantly thrown darts. 100. But a 180 here. And he's on for it. Oh, 140. Fire. Jamie Caven certainly now does seem to have found a little bit of range. Yeah, both players stepped it up in this leg. 130. Brilliant setup from Mark Cox. 60. 12 darts thrown, so he's going to come back to the board. Caven's setting it up himself. 95. Mark Uquire, 40. Mark Cox, double top for two legs apiece, and this will be the best leg of the match so far. 13 darts. Uh, perhaps 14. It's got to be 15. No score. Oh, now Caven. Jamie requires 65. The door is open. Oh, 45 left. He's going to go double 16. 49. Now and he misses it. Mark requires 40. That was a real chance for Jamie Caven to open up a little bit of daylight between the two of them. But Mark Cox, he missed three at double top he last on the time. Leg. It won't Mark happen Cox. this time. Fifth leg is Jamie to throw first. Two apiece. Man from Swindon, level pegging with the man from Derby. 96. Forty-one. Like I say, no, all these players have got the form, or playing the form as they have been since. One hundred. The start of this tournament, you see. Coxie taking out Andy Smith and Andy Smith at the Championship League darts played exceptional on the qualifying day, really did. 27. 27. Beat Steve Beaton six lengths to nil in his first game. 40. No mean feat that. Oh, yeah, Smith was on form and Coxie convincingly beat him. 46. Oh, Cox having a, a mare of a leg here. 
57. Oh, no real pressure on Jamie Caven. He's just being allowed to chip away at his score, but maybe a big one here from Cox could turn things around. 137. 137. Would certainly help. Can Caven respond? Yes, he can. He can respond very, very well. 119. Just sliding into the two as opposed to the treble 17 he wanted. Yeah, threw that a bit quick. Cost him a dollar, the double. It's going to be at the bullseye now. Well, doesn't have to do that. So treble 19 for double 16. Probably the treble 10 now. Oh, he's gone the treble 18. And again, he's missed a big number. 53. He's been a bit scruffier than you'd expect from Jamie Caven with the way he's been playing of late. Thirty. Jamie Rubois, thirty-six. No pressure at all. Take your time, Jamie Caven. Double eighteen you want. Working his way towards it. No score. But not using that marker in any way. No, nope, and Cox can't get out, so there's no. No pressure really being put on Jamie Caven and Mark Cox. Well, they are all over the place, those two darts. So he'd probably given the leg up anyway. Double nine. Mm. Not a fun one. Gibbs but he's on got it. Leg. Jamie Caven. Sick leg is marked to throw first. Game on. Sixty. Well, we've had one leg that was pretty good on score, which both players scored well in. And since then, it's, it's been... Uh, normally, you find in this sort of stage of a tournament, one of the players will start hitting them consistently, but uh, both players 100. find it really hard to get their range. Almost dragging each other down in some respects. 81. 41. Winner of this one goes through to the quarterfinals to play Simon Whitlock or Andy Hamilton. That is the game to round off the afternoon session, and what a match that is. We've already seen. The start of the evening session set up. Michael Van Gerwen against Wes Newton. Kim Hybrex against Peter Wright. 100. Brendan Dolan against the surprise package, Yarko Kamula. It'll be 7 p.m. local time. 95. 6 p.m. in the UK, I believe, if my maths is right. It is right, yes. Now an hour in front of us, back home. 60. Well, a chance here for Caven to break the throw of Cox. And that's exactly what he's got to do. Follow it up with another one of those. Gives him two darts. Well, it give him dart at double top. The 82. There's a nice little check out using the bullseye 25. And Cox will not take this out. So he will set it up. A big 20 now. 85. Well, big chance for Caven, though. 82. Bullseye for double 16. And he's missed the 25. Now he wants the bullseye. 58. Well, he's he's caught the, the treble 13. Yeah, the treble 13. 55. Yeah. The graphics a, just cover that up. It's a missed opportunity for Caven, and can Cox make him pay for Teams it? Yes, he can. Leg. Mark off. 55 check out. Seven leg is Jamie to throw first. Makes it three Come all. On. When he could have found himself 4 2 down, but Caven back in there. 180 for the man from Derby. First one of the match. Had to wait seven legs for it. 100. Can he follow it up? 100. Good, solid turn. The first two darts were absolutely brilliant. And the third one was just going to come in under that and find the turn. It's funny again. 140. Dan, you know, we've had some ropey scoring, really. All of a sudden, then one player starts scoring well, the other one follows him. 57. Yeah, just maybe that kick out the backside they needed to try and raise their game. 
140. Once again. Jamie Uruguay, 164. Oh, it's a ton 40. Oh, Jamie Caven. 96. Mark Uruguay, 121. There's a chance for Mark Cox to take the lead here for the first time in the match. And he's going to get a shot at the ball for a 1-2-1. One, one, Jamie Uruguay, 68. It's the 25. So Jamie Caven, real pressure on this 68 to hold his own throw. Double top. Oh. on the seventh leg. Did it in the Jamie first Caven. leg, took the double out cleanly. The eighth leg isn't marked the throw Does it first. again in the seventh leg to hold his Game throw. On. Cox having one dart at that bullseye. I know the bullseye's not hit that often, but... That is just 60. how close the game can be. Hit the bullseye, you're laughing. But now Cox is the one under pressure. Yeah, throwing for a 5-3 lead instead sort of throwing just to try and claw it back to four all. And race to six. Absolutely huge moment in the game there. 97. One hundred. Well, he's threatening that treble bet a lot more than he was, Caven. As is Cox. Fifty-eight. Yeah, out of the two, you kind of you know come at the form coming into here. You'd expect Jamie Caven to have uh, played a little bit 56. better. Fifty-six. Certainly. That's the way it goes sometimes. As we talk about it so often. You can't find them, then you get a bit frustrated. And you, then you're thinking, why is this happening? I've been playing so good. 95. But at the end of the day, as Brendan Dolan said, I've got over the finishing line. I'll be here this evening. It's exactly what he said. Yeah, you can buy yourself the opportunity 40. to turn up properly later on. 90. I think you'd feel a lot more confident going into a game against... One hundred and thirty-one. Hamilton. If he'd actually pulled out a top draw performance, though, Jamie Caven, it's all gone. Forty-two. Very, Andrew very Martin, scruffy 60. in this leg for him. Mark Cox looks at double top to tie everything up at four all again. Twenty. Jamie Uruguay, one hundred and sixty-four. Well, he'll probably be back. Well, he was going for two treble 19s that would have left the bullseye, so Coxie comes back for double top. And double 10, he doesn't want to start missing this and giving Caven a chance. Oh, Game a great last leg. start. Mark Cox. That's a big relief Nine for Mark Jamie Cox. First. Game on. No, I didn't have a lot of faith he was going to hit that one. You could see him just tightening of the jaw there as he missed the first two. Looking over at Caven score, seeing he had a chance. 40. And straight into the double five, though. And we're in a race to two, effectively, now. 99. Maybe one big finish or just one big visit to the board. May end up swinging this match one way. 100. Yep, edgy times are ahead. I say one bad shot could cost you 17. And that is a bad one. He's lucky that he's already a hundred head of Cox. But the one three five 95. Needed, you can see in his face there the one three five would have been just ideal. But again, 100. Oh, how important was that last treble? Well, every single dart. Just so much riding on it now. 43. Jamie Uruguay, 146. 140. Oh, missing the big number. Yeah, go 114. Yeah, that's a good cover shot. Leaves him the double 16. Cox. A long way off, so Caven going to come back to the board to take a 5 4 lead. 49. And one leg away Jamie from Uruguay, a win. 32. He will certainly grab the win. The ninth leg. Jamie Caven. the stage smiling. 
Seventh leg is marked to throw first. Game on. We talk a lot about the averages and percentages on doubles, but sometimes just get over the finishing line and move on. Well, every single 58. leg has gone with throw from the very start of this one. Either Jamie Caven 60. stops that pattern and wins the match now. Or he relies on it continuing in the decider. And if Cox does win this, it's going to be an edgy 59. lead for Jamie Caven. Obviously, he's, he's, he would have been the odds-on favourite for this. The weight of expectation on him. 100. Sixty. Similarly, Cox would be thinking, well, Ali Pali World Championships. Maybe I need to be in the quarterfinals to do it. What? Uh, I mean, that is as good as a maximum. In many ways, it's better having to go all around the board and hit the three trebles. Oh, Cox, what a response. 140. Jamie Rick, and Jamie Caven with a showstopper. He can certainly set it up. 105. Well, he's going to get two darts at double top if he hits the 25 when he comes back. And this first dart from Jeremy Caven, on his arrival to the 100. hockey, is Jamie so important that it goes in the 25. Yeah, 65 he needs. There's the 25, needs double top. And Jamie there it is, oh, Jamie, Caven. Jamie Caven. It was a struggle. He laboured through a lot of that match, but Mark Cox... Goes home, back to Swindon, a 6-4 loser to Jamie Caven. The number six seed is into the quarterfinals. One,